We are MDT. We design, test, and create precision rifle chassis and accessories to help you shoot better. So we're really excited today to announce a brand new product we've been working on for quite some time. We call it the MDT Tunable Ultimate Recoil Device. What we've been trying to do is find a good way to help the shooter train better. And what we've done is we've taken our tried and true design from the Elite Muzzle Brake and we decided to just flip it. So we set it with the idea of this brake. We wanted to have something that would mimic the brake you have on your current gun, but increase your recoil so you could shoot a smaller caliber or shoot your same caliber and really work on that recoil management. Yeah, you know, I was pretty skeptical at first, but once you get behind it, it definitely works. It's kind of like uh, the batters in the major leagues putting weight on their bat. When they go to that lighter recoil again, it just makes it that much easier to shoot and see everything downrange. So switching back and forth between these brakes is going to be game changing. So these ports are systematically designed to increase the muzzle recoil as much as you possibly can. And they're not at a constant angle, but they are very, very aggressively tapered. And then the actual through port design is designed to maximize your recoil. So we've blown that thing out and made it as big as humanly possible because we want to make sure that the recoil is increased. So we've been getting feedback from our team and they really wanted to increase that recoil on say the 223s that they're shooting for practice. We've also analyzed the compressive gases, the compressive accordions, everything outside the front of the muzzle brake, as well as the blast patterns to the shooter, the spotter, um, the guy next to you, and also the guy downrange. And we wanted to make sure that all of them were fine. But during our testing, one of the things we really wanted to ensure was that the decibel level and that the sound level produced by this brake um, was very unique. Downrange, what we found was that we were able to actually increase the sound values and we were able to increase all the noise going down there, which is actually a secondary benefit of this brake, meaning that it's very, very disorienting for the target. So if you are hunting a deer or if there's anyone downrange of you, the sound actually gets muffled and jumbled such that you can never even tell where the sound is actually coming from. We wanted their 22 shooter to feel like they're shooting a 223. A 223 shooter to feel like they're shooting a 65 Creed. A 65 Creed shooter to feel like they're shooting a 300 Win Mag. We wanted to make it the most amount of recoil you can get, bang for your buck, to make sure that your brake is out there increasing your recoil to give you the worst performance. <laughs> Very disorienting if you're down range. Um, you can't tell where the blast is coming from. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say, but with a straight face, man. It's so hard. <laughs> it's so dumb. Hey, Ken, you got to shoot for you, man. All right. It smells. All, right. All I smell is ketchup. <laughs>